Welcome to this look at a new-ish mod map for Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So this is Valley View. This is a new-ish mod map. Uh, it came out last week by MHMI, 165.19 megabytes download. It is seasons and uh, precision farming ready. There is the Valley View Seasons Geo also available, which is recommended. Now, it's recommended for a very important reason. As you can see, Valley View. We have got a view down to the valley. This has got probably more custom crops than any map we've had on console, I think. There are a lot. Let me just read through them quickly, then we'll get into the, the, the nitty-gritty. Rye, millet, sorghum, mustard and rice. I say fairly standard, we've had those on a few different maps. Tomato, onion, carrot, cabbage, red cabbage, lettuce, coffee, grapes, olives and almonds. Yeah, <laughs> quite a lot to be getting your head around. If we go into this menu here and we scroll across, we've got custom pictures for them all so carrot onion coffee mustard millet tomato sorghum rye rice lettuce cabbage red cabbage grape olive and almond Whew, that's a lot now as far as planting seeding and harvesting there are two required mods for this map one is the browed 9000l by black eyes black eyes modding and the other is the dr l 140n also by black eyes modding now that's the grape harvester and the grape trailer so there's been a little bit of conversion going on with regard to that now i'm going to start with the what i would consider the cereal crops the rye millet sorghum mustard and rice these are planted using regular cedars we has got across you'll see them there the very different ones down the bottom right hand corner for your root crops, including tomatoes, we want planters. Let me scroll across till we get to one that shows a whole load of them. Now, this will the planters will also do sorghum. So sorghum can be done with cedars or planters. But the tomatoes, carrots, onions, cabbage, red cabbage, lettuce, grapes, but also including coffee, grape, olive and almonds can all be done with a planter if you don't want to use the grape planter. Now, that has actually been included. I know, it's... <laughs> Try to get my head around. We carry on through planters. On the end, we've got the Damcon PL75, which is normally a tree planter. This has been put in by the map maker as uh, uh, the planter for coffee, grape, olive, and almond. Now, if you don't want to use that, you can use a regular planter. But if you want to go with something a little bit different, you absolutely can. If you're going to use the PL75, then you're also going to need the pallets that have been included by the map maker. And you've got obviously poplars, sugarcane, but then we've got grape saplings olive saplings almond and coffee tree sapling pallets if you want to go down that route for your planting so that's your seeding and your planting as far as harvesting goes your regular harvest crops will be a regular header actually i should have just stayed in there shouldn't i if we go down to regular headers so your millet mustard sorghum rye and rice is done with a regular harvester header if you're going to go for your root crop type um vegetables and, and crops you want to go to beak technology we scroll across we've got the root harvester so that root harvester is designed specifically it will do potatoes and sugar beet as well now what has been done to get around the capacity on this the capacity has been increased to 50,000 liters but it's not down if you come across here it's not down as a homer it's been rebranded as a lizard and that's how you can kind of get around it so how some modders map makers are getting around adding extra stuff in with larger capacities it's not having it as a brand but rebranding it as lizard so 50,000 litre capacity that's the root harvester as far as actual headers goes you want to go to beat technology under tools and we've got a carrot header onion header potato header sugar beet header tomato header red cabbage header cabbage header lettuce header so all the headers are all there <laughs> for your root crops now, for harvesting your almonds, your coffee, uh, your grapes and olives, then one of the required mods that was put in under, I think it's just under regular harvesters, is the Browd 9000L 
by black eyes modding so that's been put in to harvest those now as far as one of the crops look like we're going to get around the map we're going to do all the rest of it don't worry we're going to get to it i thought i would put them all on on a field and let's have a look to see what we're actually dealing with so i think i've got them in town so tomatoes that's what your tomatoes are going to look when they're ready to harvest next up we've got carrots i have to say the detailing and and texturing and all the stuff that goes with these it's very good um so carrots next then we move on to onions next up we've got cabbage then we've got red cabbage lettuce not grown in greenhouses here they're out in the field then we move across we've got grapes now i used a regular planter i didn't use the pallets or the um damcon but you can if you want to grapes almonds no is that almonds olives sorry grapes olives then we move on to the almonds They've, it's really well done and then lastly we've got our coffee on the end so like i say quite a few different crop types and a lot of stuff to be kind of getting your head around so that's that's the custom crop side of things <laughs> contracts are available on this map we're going to head up towards the farm let's go to the map actually where do we start well on new farmer we start with fields four five six seven and the biogas plant the biogas plant you already own on new farmer obviously on the other two you don't start with any land at all so you'd have to buy that and it's not actually very expensive i think it's only about 80 grand yeah 79,360 uh, to buy that now at the main farm that you start with on new farmer you do have all the animal types these are all standard in-game animal pens which we'll get to in just a second once we leave the field now, something I did encounter when I was kind of prepping to put all this stuff on the field was I couldn't get a worker to cultivate the field I originally started to do it in. It required me to plough first. Now, that happened on, was it Italia Demo? It might have been on a couple of other maps as well. But, yeah, I had to plough the field first before it would let me cultivate. I couldn't just cultivate a crop in. Once that was done once, it was fine after that. So, like I say, standard in-game animal pens we've got pigs here the standard one holds 300 we've got sheep just here which holds 80 we've got a bit of our start machinery which we're going to get onto in a minute we've got our sleep trigger farmhouse which again actually you know what where was i going to go from i think it was about here wasn't it yeah um i'll talk about slot count while i'm here actually the slot count is 620 out of 1299 you start with a fair bit of stuff, we're gonna, which we're going to look at in just a second. But if you come onto your farm manager or start from scratch, the slot count comes down to 375. So 620 to 375, but you start with absolutely nothing. And this yard will look a little bit like this. Now, the good thing about that is I did have a quick check. Placing stuff is no problem at all. I tried placing a silo and a couple of animal pens and it allowed me no problem. Everything went green. It, it wasn't an issue at all. So on New Farmer, you start with the sleep trigger, but you can sell it if you don't want this particular sleep trigger or you want your sleep trigger to be somewhere else. You can absolutely sell it. Sleep triggers here. We do have a vehicle workshop. We've got a pickup. Chickens, again, standard in-game. That will hold 100 chickens. As we come around, we've got more shed space. The easy sheds as well. None of these will be here. Loads of equipment and gear in there. More equipment and gear in here. The silo is modded. So as far as mods, other than the required mods go, we've got the great plants we've already looked at, and then there are a couple of silos. If we go into here and go across to placeables and silos, because of all the additional crop types, there's a large grain silo which holds 500,000 litres and the large silo extension, which is 100,000 litres. And that will take everything, including all those additional crop types as well. So that's what we start off with as well on New Farmer. We've got a 500,000 litre multi-fruit silo. Uh, as we continue moving across, we come to our cows, which is 200. Now, I'm not going to show you all the, the feed triggers. Let's say they're the standard in-game ones. Everything's pretty clear with regard to water trough around the back. You've got your straw and then you've got your, you know, your... Um, 
slurry and manure point. And over here we've got horses, and the horses will hold eight. Now, something that is a little bit different with regard to these, though, when I say they're standard in-game, they are, I've done it again, I want animal pens, whilst they are the standard in-game ones and not mods per se, the XML files have been tweaked to allow the animals to take other crop types. So, for example, the chickens there will do rice, sorghum, rice, millet and carrot. Well, it's like potato and also, yeah, and there's a whole load of stuff that's been added in on these. So they are kind of standard in-game, but they have allowed for extra crop types to be used. Horses will take cabbage and carrots. Um, yeah, so there's a whole load of extra stuff that all of the animals will now take, which is pretty cool. That's all been added in. Brilliant. So loads to be kind of getting your head around, really, when you think about it. Um, right, what was I going to go to next? Slot counts. Oh, yeah, slot counts. Let's talk about the gear we start with then. So, if we go to garage, like I said, slot count 620 if you're on New Farmer. We start with the Fent 716, a Fent 930, Russell Mash RSM 161, Pickup, Crumper Bandit 3, uh, 750, uh, Stratman SEK 02, Header for the Harvester, we've got a Plow Cultivator, we've got a Lemkin Solitaire, Solitaire 12 Cedar, we've got a Herbicide and, fertil uh, herbicide and Fertilizer Sprayer, we've got a Fertilizer and Lime Spreader, Mowers, Tedder, Windrower, Baler, and then we've got some front loader gear, then all the animal pens, the large grain silo, easy sheds, vehicle workshop, farm storage shelter, and farmhouse. So that's why the slot counts up at 620. When I say up at 620, that's actually not too bad for all of that that you get as well. Um, but like I say, that will come down to 375, and you won't have any of that at all. Absolutely nada. So, have I covered the bits I needed to with regard to... Yeah, custom feed, crop types, how you plant them, how you harvest them. I think I've covered all of that. Right, so let's grab the pickup. And let's get round the map. Now, I'll be honest, the map itself, as you go round, is... Basic's the wrong word. Um... I've said this before on some maps, it's a little bit clunky in places. But I think what really holds this map up is the addition of all the crop types. Because I think that kind of thing will keep people playing on a map uh, much longer. Because it just adds more variety to it all. In places, and I may seem to be being a bit harsh, and I apologise if I am. Um, it seems a little bit kind of contrived. I know some maps you go around, it feels very natural and flowing, and especially the ones that are based upon a real place. Of course they would be. But other maps you play on or go on to feel very natural. In places it feels a little bit contrived. We're at the sawmill. We've come out to the west. Woodchip sell point is just there. Lumber sell point is just there. Forestry and field prices. Let's talk about that as well while we're here. I know I'm kind of bouncing all over the place. Um, you can buy... The forestry in chunks, which is quite handy. Field prices are pretty good if we go to say field 18 there, 70 grand. We've got a few small ones knock about field 15 there for 69. Then the sort of medium fields up this side. Then as we come down the map to the south um, southwest corner. We've got field 26 at 2,260,000, which is a big field. So we kind of sweep down as we come down into the valley itself. The bigger fields are down there. This area has been left on purpose as uh, an area that you can develop into whatever you want. There are a few trees here and there. There's a road that runs through the middle of it. It's mostly all grassland. This can be bought in sections and you can build a farm there. You can do anything. It's entirely up to you. There are also some placeable areas around the map. Again, for you to really kind of modify it however you like so it's kind of got a bit of everything now as far as forestry goes there's not a huge amount as you can see it's not it's quite sparsely populated the forest so whilst there is some forestry to be done not a huge amount but you could if you wanted to use the damcon peel 75 the standard in-game one you could plant some more trees 
allow them to grow and have a bit of a plantation forestry if you wanted to. So we're now going from the west of the map, right the way across to the east of the map, still across the top. Uh, we're going to head to the biogas plant. Now the biogas plant is, um, like I say, you start with it on New Farmer, but it's, it's quite interesting in what it takes. Now I was going to say initially it's a, it's a standard biogas plant, in that the prices for silage and grass and hay and stuff are pretty standard. But what's not standard about it is everything else that the biogas plant takes. And it takes an absolute load of stuff. Which we'll talk about when we get there. So, where's the best way to get into here? I think it's up the top end here. So, we've got a couple of large silage clamps. We've got a floor level pit for tipping into. And the digestate tank is just over here. Nicely kind of weathered and, and sort of rusty in places. Whilst it looks like a sort of standard plonk down biogas plant, there's a bit of work been done to it to make it look like it's kind of seen a bit of use. Now, as far as the biogas plant goes, let's go across one. Go to biogas plant. What does it take? Well, like I said, standard things, but it will take potato and sugar beet at 450 for a thousand litres. The standard bit is the silage, 360. It will do your grass and your um, hay. It will take manure, it will take slurry. But then as we go across, it will take carrot, it will take onion, it will take lettuce, cabbage and red cabbage, all at 450, which actually pays out more than the silage does. Now, those crop types take a while to harvest because normally you get a quite a high yield, there's a lot to do. But it pays out well, plus you get the digestate as your byproduct. So, as far as the biogas plant goes, that's pretty good. And if you come onto a farm manager and start from scratch, it's not overly expensive to buy. Now, as you can see, there's more forestry knocking about. There's, there's, there's a bit here and there. Placeable area just in front of us. I said there are, I think there's four around the map. Now, this is where things get a little bit... I need the turning here. There's a fuel station just there. Traffic is a bit bonkers, so I've got to be a bit wary. Now, the next sell point... I carried on down the road first of all, but you can only access, well I say you can only access it, you can cut across the land, the ground if you want to, but the road access is here. Now this is what I mean by it being a little bit contrived in places, you kind of have to drive out of your way a little bit. Now then obviously there's the landscaping tool, if you buy the land it may give you the ability to have a bit of a fiddle around and change things, but if we come all the way down the back here, if this is kind of, not quite an industrial estate, but something along those lines. Um, we get to East Town Supply. So this is one of the sell points, East Town Supply. We'll be having a look at the map to see where we've been. Now, like I say, to get back onto the main road, there's no kind of road or track. The curb sides are actually quite high in places as well. So even if you put a bit of a track in, there's going to be a bit of a bump up and down. Now, I'm going to, I am going to bump over the edge. Um, I suppose if I went round this side, maybe a bit easier to go across the grass. Otherwise, you go all the way back to where we just came in from. But that, that's entirely up to you. So we can cut across the grass. Of course we can. So maybe we could put a bit of a track in there if you wanted to. So heading down the hill. Now this is a fictitious map. Uh, European style. As we sweep down from the high point down towards the valley floor. We don't quite get to the valley floor just yet. But you can see to the left. If I zoom in on the vehicle a little bit. So I'm not in the cliff face. That's all the section down there, in the southeast section of the map, that's all kind of left open for you to do whatever you want. Like, there is a bit of forestry to be done there, you might need to clear some trees, but with the um, Tree Devourer mod by... is it Rowley, Rowley Christie? Um, clearing those, no problem at all. Almost easy peasy, I think is the best way of putting it. So, another placeable area here, and then we come to the next of the cell points which is just down in here. Uh, this is a Valley Mart. You sell, we buy. The Valley Mart sell point is just there. If we come from Valley Mart, we then go to... I've got to remember the route. I think we come straight across... Yeah, straight across here. Up around the back of the kind of main town area right way around the back we are heading to centre town supply which is the next sell point
and that is we'll get to it in a minute but again this is another one of those points where rather than a kind of a, a circuit Circuitous is that how you say it? Sir, well, a circuit, a, a, a route that goes around. This is it here, centre town supply. Now it's a good time to go to the map, I think, and see where we've been. We started up at the main farm here. I showed you the field there. Oh, that was something I was going to say as well. On your actual filters here, um, on the on the map screen, right hand side you've got fruit types. You go down to the bottom, we've got carrot. Go across one more fruit types. Two runs through all the other ones with all the different colours. You can see field eight there in the middle of the map with all the different strips I did. Um, weirdly, when I did the olives, you can see the lines across it bled into the grapes. So I don't know why it did that, but I've got some sections of olives growing across where my grapes were. Not that you would ever plant them right next to each other like this necessarily. You'd leave a bigger gap, or you might do an entire field of one thing. I just did that to show you. Um, but if I go across one more, the growth filter bit is missing, as is the soil composition. So... No, it, sometimes with that, it'd just be a case of saving the map, saving your, your, your game, coming out, coming back in, and they'll be back in there. Um, but they're just missing at the moment. I hope that's not a kind of an ongoing thing. But anyway, we started the main farm. We whizzed out across the sawmill. Zoom out a bit. Came all the way back across, and we up to the biogas plant, down past the fuel station, East Town Supply, down the slope here to Valley Mart, up round to Centre Town Supply, now we're going to head out to the store and all the points just over here. Now, like I say, there's no road or route straight down from where from here. We have to go back the way we came, back to the main road, which is not it's not a massive problem. It's just just point now. We will get there at some point. Then we go back down to the main road. Now, there is a water tower that we're going to come to. We'll just see it just to the left when we get to the T-junction at the end here. That is a water refill point. But again, I, I always say this when I do map tours now, there are so many modded water fountains and standpipes. And, you know, having a water refill point on a map isn't as crucial as it used to be. So there's the water point just there. We're going to whiz around and head to the store. Which again requires a bit of a sweep up and a kind of there and back route as well for this too. We can carry on from just past the store which takes us back up to the top part of the map and up towards the farm. If we carry up and over that bridge it brings us back up to the top so from here if we go back up over that bridge it can bring us back up to the top and across the farm again but getting over to this bit means coming back around and then coming back under again not too much of a problem it's just you know it is what it is buy point is here just inside we've got our cell customized repair point just here vehicles respawn here so any problems you have the reset is going to be here to the main store so what we'll do is whiz back down back under here out to the next ones I do like the fact, I'm just, as I'm driving along, thinking about the crop types we're talking about, I do like the fact that it, is, it does give you the option, if you want to just use a regular planter for putting in some of those crops, that you're not kind of forced to, because I know some people, when you do um, trees, when you're using the poplar, the, the dam compil 75, you're doing poplars and stuff like that, it can be a bit slow and a bit laborious, and you're doing like one strip at a time, so having the ability to use a, a planter to be able to do that, I think is a nice addition, it makes life a little bit easier. Or you know, or you can go the other way, and if you're going to go with the mentality or the idea of, you know, I'm going to the effort of putting these in, therefore I'm going to put them in properly, you know, I say properly, whatever properly is. So next cell points, we are at the spinnery. Spinnery cell point is just here. If we go around the back here, we've got the bakery cell point, which is just there. Then continuing on, we've got here we've got a buy point and a sell point so farm supply 
farm supply sell point here is designed for you to sell any surplus so surplus things you might have like lime and fertilizer and seed and those kind of things it's a discount price it's a bit of a knockdown but if you've got any if you've got any surplus any over the top you absolutely can sell it there if you want to we have a buy point here for manure and slurry if you want to buy any and then we've got a buy point around this side of the farm supply for buying your fertilizers herbicides seed all those kind of things from here there we go it says up there what they buy and what they sell solid fertilizer seed lime liquid fertilizer herbicide manure and liquid manure they buy all of the same things but just at a, a slightly reduced price I mean it's one of those things you think are you gonna have a surplus of any of those things because you're likely to use them again the next time you do something so I don't know if you'd have a surplus per se and if they were buying at a higher price you'd have that situation where you could buy cheap sell high and make a load of money just selling it so I think that's another reason why it's, it's sort of discounted knockdown price now if we come out on the end here we've got the next ones we've got the uh, animal dealer livestock market and we've got the barn sell point just here I think now is as good a time as any to check them out one more time. So, we came back around, we came under the bridge, and we have done the spinnery, the bakery, the farm supply, uh, buy point and sell point, just there, animal dealer, barn, which leaves us one sell point left to go, which is all the way down here in the south, which is the valley mill. We're going to have whiz down there to the valley mill, and then we'll whiz out and just have a quick look. There's a little ford there across the river, which we're going to cross, and we'll finish up down there, I think. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I've decided. <laughs> just moved my piece of paper. I think I've covered everything. If I've missed anything, I do apologise. Now, obviously, um, I was away from my uh, PlayStation 4 a few days last week. I think it was five or six days. So when these maps were released, I didn't get a chance to do the map tour. And sometimes when I've come back from being away or haven't done map tours for a while, I, I kind of feel a little bit, it's not new out, it's new-ish. I mean, it's not even been a week yet, but I was always very much, I kind of missed the boat on that. I won't do the map tour. But a lot of people do ask me, are you still going to do a map tour? You know, a lot of people will say they won't play on the map until I've done a map tour. So, you know, I, I understand that some people, if you're watching this, you may be one of them. You may have been playing on this map for hours and hours and hours and hours already. So you may have found all sorts of things that I wasn't aware of. Oh, that was something I was going to point out. The grass has a flower sort of addition to it that was added in. Um, custom textures... Yeah, I mean, along the lines of Alien Jim, in that there's two, I think a couple of grass ones, and then you've got three or four flowers in different colours. You've got one that looks like the sort of scattered uh, bushes, and then you've got your usual kind of paving ground gravel. Um, nothing majorly different. I think if there'd have been a texture on there that was vastly different, or there were loads more added in that we haven't come across before, I'd probably show you, but. So, Valley Mill down here at the southern part of the map down at the lowest point down at the south with everything climbing up away from us to the next junction out to the right across the ford and we will be at the yeah the large open customize do what you like area which i kind of like the idea of there have been a few maps that have had those I think the extension to the old stream farm did, didn't it? I'm trying to think of some of the maps that did. So across the Ford, and then we're out into this large expanse, which you can buy in plots and pretty much do whatever you want with. If you want to use like some of the placeable packs and stuff, you can make yourself another little town down here if you wanted to, or an entire farm complex. Whatever you want, the choice is yours, and I think that adds a nice little bit to it as well especially with all the custom crop types. And that's the map. 
that's it, Valley View. This was the last one I was doing of all the new maps that came out last week, because when I looked at it and saw the crop types, I thought, oh, blimey, it's going to be an absolute minefield. And it has taken me a bit of time to prep it all and kind of go through it all. But it's actually not been too bad, I think. So, Valley View by MHMI. Hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.